Welcome back to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the voices inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite the Explosive One. Uh, Jonas, we're playing the shapeshifting detective. Yep, SSD. So we're going to start out as Sam, and yeah. we're going to get into the next chapter by we're talking go, to uh, people. We're going to caress the uh, traveler hunters. I mean, I guess we might as well talk to them. <sighs> Sam. Look, I can't talk right now. I'm doing phone readings. Got to pay for a job somehow. Lexi's locked in too late too. I can sort you out afterwards, yeah? Okay. What Lexi's, was the interaction that we had to do with that? Lexi's locked in till eight. They were gonna do a. We might as well visit Lexi. See what she says. We've got to stop meeting like this. Seriously though, Sam. I'm working. Can't it wait? Just give me to wait, okay? Because they were doing a reading. But they were supposed to do a reading at 8. All right. So we had to talk to... Oh, and uh, Rain might tell us uh, about Birmingham now. <coughs> do you know Zach Westing? So Birmingham. Yeah, so Birmingham. Fine, Sam. Birmingham. Mercury took us to Birmingham. We didn't know what for. We never really know what for. But we turned up, it started with a girl, Ginny. She was South African. I only mention it because that was its thing. It's a thing? Yeah. We didn't know at the time, but in hindsight, it was after South African girls. Three, to be exact. The Traveler wanted three. Why did the Traveler want the three? Yeah, victims? I mean, good question. You should ask Bronwyn. She's the one that knows about rights. I just know it normally involves three, and all three share a common attribute. Like cello players. Uh, tell me about the Travelers. I guess we can continue down that. I guess you might call them demons, in as much as they can get inside us. They oh. come from... Other worlds. Uh huh. They come from other worlds, or why demons? Why do demons fly? That's an emphasis. Some <laughs> religions talk of demons, but they don't actually exist. Uh, travelers can get inside us and make it look like we're possessed. Hence the demons. Why do demons fly? Travelers can inhabit us. Yes disturbingly. It's actually a lot more complicated than that. Um, they choose a reality slash universe where they actually evolve to become the person they're possessing. So they jump in a few million years before our timelines intersect. <laughs> right. In simple terms? In simple terms. They can't just jump into someone. It takes a few hours for that. They make the decision before they travel, which is why we can catch them. So you think the murderer is a traveler? This is actually pertinent. Yeah. Yes, probably. The tarot doesn't just sat nav us to normal murders. Do All right. Do you know Zach Weston? Do you know Zach? I met him yesterday, <laughs> doing the rounds, looking for reading work. Actually, he... Oh, no. Um, he did mention the rota. What about her? He said there was this girl he was planning to meet up with. Said she was alone every Monday night because her parents go to the cinema. Do you know what that means? It was the rota shore. You just now thought that'd be pertinent to tell us that? Yeah. Come on, my dude. You, you, all right, now I gotta hail a cab. It's 8 o'clock and time for another oh. update. Police investigating the death of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw yeah. have said there's no evidence to connect her boyfriend to the murder. Chief DuPont's statement was delivered in response to speculation from local residents that it was a crime of passion. Oh, Miss Shaw's passion, right. strangled body was found by her mother around 10 p.m. last night in what the chief is Ooh, calling a pretty. puzzling crime. I can't believe people are gossiping already, Poe. It's always the person closest to the victim, isn't it, what they say? But that poor boy. 
A reminder also that due to the murder, this weekend's Tulip Festival has been postponed. New dates will be announced soon. The weather's getting worse tonight with heavy rain forecast. So if you're heading out, you might want to take a jacket. No or a cap. No sexual or wear the jacket in the cap. That's 8 o'clock with Poe and Monroe. Okay, no sexual innuendo. I'm, I'm pleased that you guys have grown up. All right, let's, uh, I guess, take it to the next All chapter. All right, take it to the next one. Sam, um, I've got news. <sighs> We've done a reading. And you're next, Sam. Five of swords. Five of swords. Oh, again. It's the same card as yesterday. Ten of swords. Stab, stab. Let's hope it's not the Knight of Wands. It's the Knight of Wands. This doesn't look good. It's fine. This happens all the time. There are 78 cards in a deck. The same ones come up a lot. I get it. But we drew yeah. the exact same cards yesterday. What are the odds of putting all three again? One in 474,552. I know. I got asked a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, sh it's happening again. So, it's gonna be another murder. Who is it? Then Lexi yeah. did her thing. And now we have a name. Ellis Munro. We don't know who that is. Yeah, we don't have that. Alright, so we need to go to the chief. Oh, visit Ellis. Oh. Okay, yeah, we should do that. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Ooh, red hair. Must be Sam. Hey, girl. That's the common trope. Yep. Well, hello, Ellie. We just got off the phone with Chief Dupont. I can't believe it. First Dorota, now me. Just don't be by yourself. She reminds me of the band camp girl. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? In band camp, I should have the flute in my neck. All right. Well, uh, did you know Dorota? <laughs> Tell me about... Poe, oh, uh, or do you know Zach Weston? Mm. What's Poe? Tell me about Poe. Yes. We were friends. I hadn't known her for long. Only a few weeks. How did you meet her? We met at the gala. I was hosting and she was playing the cello, you know? Mm. I guess... We talked for a little while, and then she asked me for a drink after the show. Oh, I know what that means. Dude, this whole pouty look that she's got going on here. What happened after the show? After we'd had a few drinks, she invited me back to her house. If you I thought we were just going to chat, watch a movie, watch that sort of thing. <laughs> then she kissed me. Aww. I was so shocked. Aww. She was so attractive. So, I kissed her back. <gasps> she kissed a girl and she liked it. <laughs> Why is this game so horny, Jonas? I don't it's, get it's it. A, it's a giant horny game. Right? <laughs> uh, you and Dorota were in a relationship? No, they only were dating. They only knew each other for a few weeks. And tell me about what's tell me about Poe. You know, Dorota had a boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that one for right now. Oscar. Yeah. He knew. She was a bit confused. When we started seeing each other, she didn't... She didn't like him touching her anymore. I didn't mind. <gasps> but she did. So I told her if he wanted to get sexual, then Make maybe she should try something else. Stand him in the closet. That's when she stood him in the closet. I said some guys like to watch. So... Tell him it would be sexy if he could look, but he couldn't touch as that's far as how I you know, get rid of your boyfriend it worked that's a very classic uh young girl who is who wants to experience lesbian trick i mean, i shouldn't say trick but tactic it's a tactic what to be like hey well, how about i with this girl and you watch no, like, but not watch them. Watch the watch her masturbate in the bed because she didn't want Zach to touch her anymore. Oh. Or not Zach, uh, 
the, the, the Oscar. Oscar, yeah. Okay, I thought we they. Think... I thought she was watching her with her. Oh yeah, no, I don't. Uh, think... Either way, we, we think... think the murderer watched her in some way. How did it work? Yeah, she told Oscar to watch from her walk-in wardrobe. When he was at a safe distance, she put on a show. She faked it. She faked it. I think she enjoyed it more than you think. Let's trash that. That's kind of. I agree. Yeah, that's that's kind of. I scary. agree. Did Oscar know about you? No, he did not. No. No, why Dorado owns a wedding dress? Yeah, yeah. That's probably. It was her mom's. She was saving any case mom's. she ever got married. <clears throat> okay. But yeah. she knows that, but her boyfriend doesn't. I don't know who Poe is, so we should ask about yeah. that. We're co hosts on the radio. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, yeah. You know that already. Um, we've been oh, partners for two years now. He's a good friend. Oh, that's cool. Oh, uh, partners or friends? I should say, where do I find them? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's on air at the moment, but he'll be finished at 8 30. Okay. So that's probably next chapter. Should I say where? We're? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like this is fair. Yeah, it's a fair question. On air. We both were. We broadcast live hourly news reports. It's how we keep our funding. Okay. So she has an alibi. Um, do you know Zach yeah, Weston? Zach Weston. Not very well. He's done a few shoots of me and Poe. To promote the show. Okay. Fair. What do you think of him? Have you ever had any private sessions with him? He seems like a creeper, man. Yeah, I mean, I feel like if she if she answers yes. Yeah. yeah. No. Okay. Zach keeps asking, but I just don't want to. Zach keeps asking. <laughs> for him, but Dorota did. She gave me the pictures as a gift. <gasps> she looked amazing. I need to see these pictures. Dang it. You and Grodo were in a relationship, huh? This is just between us, right? She was my girlfriend. Yes, just between us. We fooled us. around. I don't have many friends, Sam. Everyone thinks because I'm on the radio, I have tons of friends, so nobody ever approaches me. I get lonely. But Dorota was my friend, and I liked making her happy. Wow. So they're just FWBs. I guess. I guess. <laughs> FWBs? I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Females with bias. I don't know what that means. Females with bodies. Ah, there you go. Uh, you have no friends. Fool around. around. Oh, mm, yeah. I think that one. I'm yeah. not going into detail, Sam. We pledged each other. Multiple. <laughs> times well that's that, kind of getting that, in deep that's that's actually details yeah that was some details <laughs> so any idea who might want to hurt you no sorry i did have a strange dream last night though i was a hollywood actress and there were hundreds of magazines and newspapers all piling up on the red carpet and they all had my picture on the front cover but the red carpet wasn't carpet it was a pool of blood Oh. And it seeped through all the pages. Then I woke up. And then we're like, well, see you later. <laughs> what do you think night. that means, Sam? Why don't we just take this woman and put her in protective custody immediately? It means you're anxious. It means you're... You hit a deep sleep phase. It, I, I would say anxious. Yeah. I want to I play up this whole something you're in. I don't know what. I mean, I'm anxious now. Maybe... Maybe it was predicting Dorota's death. Or yours tonight. Or mine. What? Oof. Ask what she wants us to do. I ain't volunteering. Just her don't hurt me. We can't. We can't. Uh... Or let me get hurt. Say go hang out with the chief. <laughs> so we <What>? leave. <laughs> It's like, just don't let me get hurt. So Bye. <laughs> Who do we even bring to her? We could take her to somebody. 
we could bring Zach to her. What is that gonna? What is that gonna help? We, she thinks he's a creep. He's gonna kill her. I don't want her to die. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we could. And Zach's not a killer. It's the traveler. Are we are we so unconvinced by this whole travel? You don't think the traveler is the thing? You I think, think I think Zach or the other redhead is is a traveler. But okay, but the traveler just like jumps in your body and makes you kill people. That's yeah, all. I guess so. So this is the thing. It's like it could just be a person who's doing this, or it could be this whole traveler thing. I don't know. Yeah, dude, we don't know. Or is one of the people? I don't know if one of the people. So what? Like, yeah, how right, do we use her? Here. Yeah, how do we use her? Oh, oh. Sam, you forgot your phone. Get in. Why would you leave? What is? Okay, she's still alive. <laughs> Like, to make what, sure what was still... the purpose of just her knocking on the window and saying you forgot your phone for? That had made literally made nothing do anything. I don't know. It might play into something. Uh, I say we visit the chief. Yeah, man, that works. Because we can at least hear word now. Do me a favor. Go easy on Violet. If we need to get anything out of her, let me deal with it. She'll open up to me. So we're going to take the chief to Violet. Take the chief to Violet. <laughs> what do we know? We've got a new target. Ellis Monroe. Ella said she was in a relationship with Dorota. She kissed a girl and she liked it. Oh my god. She told you where John Pope or Poe is going to be next. Rain still says he was praying in his room, alone. You say Bronwyn and Lexi's alibis don't add up. Violet says she doesn't remember last night, but I've got that in hand. Zach Weston says he was in his studio last night. No one corroborates. And he keeps asking Ellis to pose nude. Could be motive. Oscar's in the clear. He was playing football last night. He said that Dorota had a wedding dress in her closet. Not many people would know that. That's it. <sighs> so, but what if the girl who's supposed to die? Uh, why don't Alice. we go see Zach? Okay. Since uh, we're already out. Where is Zach at? Straight two down. Oh yeah, Zach. Okay. Just looking as creepily. Uh, no. <laughs> Do you know Ellis Monroe? Oh, okay. Everyone knows her. She's a local radio star here. Have Do you, you met her? Do you have photos of her? Have you met her? See if he, see if he well, lies. We know that, though. He's lied a bunch, though. Yeah, go then and photos. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you met her? Five. Couple of times, promo shoots, that sort of thing. Okay. All right. I feel like that was anything good. else. I what feel... do you mean? Maybe? Look, I know where you're going with this. Yes, I asked her if she'd do a boudoir session with me. She turned me down. <gasps> no big deal. Told the truth. We bring her to him. Yeah, you get turned down a lot. We bring her no. to him. I got the photos that I needed anyway. Whoa. No, I don't get turned down a lot. Yeah, let's bring her to him. Yeah. Well, let's go see Oscar again real quick since we're out. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Oscar, what else do you have to say? Oh, nothing. nothing. He's not. Okay. We just get into his house and he's not home. Um, Who are we right now? We're, we're Sam. Sam. Have we visited anybody else at the guest house? I don't think so. Oh, no, because it jumped right into them coming to us. Yeah, yeah. All right, so on the next episode, we'll visit people in the guest house, and then we can uh, do... Take a radio star We'll to... take, yeah, Alice. All right, I Zach. like that. All right. All right, Crazy Towns folk, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy our content. And uh, I'm Jonas. I'm TNT. Uh, we'll catch you next time. We are out.